Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Tandem Properties Countdown to the Tip-Off Show. This is the Coaches Show brought to you by Adwala. I'm here with head coach Jennifer Gross. Now, coach, last time these two teams met, UC Davis walked away with a very good victory. They were able to fight hard in the second half and, and beat Long Beach State. But this is a team that does very poorly on the road and does very well at home. So what do you expect to be different today? Well, you know, for Long Beach, this is their last home game. Uh, it's their senior night, and we know they play real well on, on the, you know, at home. Um, but you know, we have a very, very confident group that's uh, fighting real hard to to move up in the in the playoff ranks. Um, we know in the first couple minutes of this game, we're going to get. Uh, probably the best effort that, that Long Beach has. So we know we have to stand up to that early on, and we have to just sustain really great focus and energy for the entire 40 minutes. Um, and I believe we're capable of doing that. Now, looking back to Thursday, UC Davis had another hard-fought victory against UC Irvine when they, they were down at halftime after Irvine went on an 8-0 run right at the end there. And it, it seemed like a, a tougher road in the second half, but Davis was able to pull it out. Why, why do you think that is? You know, um, throughout the whole game, we did get down eight or nine in the second half, but every time we, we had a timeout, I looked into our players' faces, and there was a confidence there. Um, and we really felt like we were going to win that game. And uh, thankfully, you know, we had a number of players step up, knock down threes, and get us right back in it. And when we took the lead, I felt like our team really uh, held on to it nicely. So, you know, offensively, we made some plays, but, you know, we held the team to 43 points. So it was our defensive effort that really set the tone for us and, and got the victory for us. Yeah, that was actually the the largest victory for the team this, or the the only victory for the team this year when scoring less than sixty points. So, uh, as a fan, you know, I try to be neutral, but it, it was a fun thing to watch, definitely. Now, lastly, I, I want to ask about Ali Doherty, who who as a freshman she had three blocks on Thursday, and that put her top ten all time in a season in her young Aggie career for blocks. And, and uh, I've kind of noticed a pattern here. You know, when you look back to a couple few years back when Lauren Urich won. Big West Freshman of the Year, and then, of course, Paige Minton. It, it seems that your program has had a lot of success developing young, young post players. Why do you think that is? Um, well, I have an un incredible staff, you know, and um, our staff believes very, very strongly in player development and fundamentals. And, uh, you know, Allie works with uh, Joe Terramoto and Des Abeda, our two post coaches, um, you know, a few times a week, repping all of her post moves and uh, watching film. And it's not just her, Heidi Johnson, Celia Marfo, and Emily uh, Van, they all take the time to, um, to work on their moves inside um, and, and to constantly try to get better. And, that's a theme across our team, and, and that's something that we want to make sure, you know, that when players come in here, they're getting great coaching, they're getting, um, you know, development, and, and we want to make sure that when a player graduates, um, you know, they, they're better in all areas, not just on the court, but obviously off too. And Allie's just an absolute joy to work with. She's an uh, incredible person. She is so coachable, and I think she's going to be uh, uh, go down in the history books and you see Davis because she's going to be a great player. Coach, thank you so much, and good luck today. We'll be back with more pregame after this on 90.3 FM KDVS.